What's going on? Back plugged in again. Your boy the Prophet. And so today we got the nine DLC characters in Jump Force. We got some information. I'm going to be talking about my thoughts. I'm going to be talking about how I feel about these characters coming in the game. And uh, maybe who I think we missed. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, finish the content. Because we put it out daily. We about to get it popping. Hope you guys enjoy the content. Let's get it lit. Drop my shit. I kept it the same. No, I never changed. And because they think I got cheat code. I came in the game. Shit, they want my name. These niggas be capping, they really be acting, they ain't really bad at I'm lethal. Say that you packing, but I see you lacking, so I get them gone for me though. Back plugged in again. So the first confirmed DLC character, Seto Kyber from Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, we pretty much knew he was going to be in the game at some point. I'm pretty happy to see him, I'm not going to lie. Uh, Yugi's pretty OP, so uh, he should be pretty good. The second person from Bleach, oh my god, Toshiro, Thousand Year Blow Arc version. So the question is, are we going to see true Bankai, adult Toshiro in Jump Force? Like, this is literally a dream for me, I'm sorry, uh, 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 I'm sorry I'm fanboying, but like, I, I, I wanted him and I crossed him off, I was like, ah, that's not really realistic, you want to think about general fans, but it's realistic, like, he's here, he's confirmed, I'm geek, let's go, like, let's go, I'm super hyped about that one, um, also we got the homie Grandma Joe, Jack Jack, uh, from Bleach as well, I'm pretty sure he's gonna start off maybe in base form and then he's gonna have resurrection as an awakening, I don't know, then we have Biscuit from uh, Hunter Hunter, and uh, I really didn't see her in there much. I guess she was one of the ones that trained them, and uh, she apparently gets super, super, super huge. So, yeah, kind of scary. Um, of course, then we have All Might from uh, Boku no Hero and uh, My Hero Academia. We already knew he was coming. But seeing him confirmed is great, not going to lie. Um, really, really good. I'm glad he's in the game. Uh, then we got Bakugo as well from My Hero Academia. Um, to Todoroki would have been cool, but I can see why people like Bakugo. He's like one of the, he's kind of like the Sasuke of Bokudono Hero. Um, so it is what it is. Uh, then we have one of my favorite Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z villains um soup well kid boo or he just goes by boo now um that's gonna be great man i love his moveset so you know I, i'm not stressed about this um i really do i'm glad he's in the game but uh i mean there's another uh person uh no jeering really though okay um Madara Uchiha, we got him coming in, and we pretty much knew he was going to be in. I honestly thought he was going to be in the game um, in the launch, in regular launch. Um, but Kaguya kind of took his place, but he's still in, so that's good. I, I want to see him. Um, and then finishing it out, we got the homie Lao from One Piece. Fan favorite of One Piece. Um, I definitely did not finish One Piece. So I'm not, I, I, I don't know, man. But I do know the Lao's a fan favorite. He's a badass. So, I mean, um, you know, people are really glad to have him in the game. Um, it's good to see him in the game. I'm not even going to lie about it. Um, what I'm going to talk about now is you know um my thoughts you know i'm glad i like the characters that they added they're all great additions the only kind of negative or kind of con to this i would maybe say is that um there aren't any new animes like there aren't any new animes um saitama isn't in here he would have been great you know um uh I don't know, man. Saitama is really one of the one of the main ones. There are a lot of other ones that you could have added in here, though. But um, that's just one that I think personally. Let me know in the comment section who you think they missed. Um, and yeah, I mean, um, I, I, I don't know, man. Like I said, I like the characters. You know, um, I love all of them. I'm just so 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 excited to see Toshiro. Like y'all don't understand. I literally when like. Once I saw Renji and Rukia, I was like, oh, well, you know, the bleach spots are filled. Like, be realistic. You know, they're, they're not going to have them, which is cool. I was perfectly fine with that. They didn't need to have Toshiro. 
Um, but I was thinking about making a Toshiro uh, created character, but of course he wouldn't he wouldn't look like him. But for sure, his adult form is going to be in the game. Now, I I I I hope they don't have it as an awakening. Like I just hope he stays in adult form the whole time, and then you know like. Um, when he goes awakening, he just, he just gets like an ice aura around him. Like, that would be cool with me. Like, I don't care. I want to play with him all the time in adult form. Like, I am like, I'm tripping. Like, this is so exciting for me as far as having Toshiro in here. That is just like, I'm going to buy it just for that. Like, so that's who I am most personally uh, happiest about. But the other big thing about this is we're going to get new moves we're gonna get we should get you know new customizable items maybe you know we're gonna get new moves we're gonna be able to do new builds you know and uh maybe they'll add some other stuff to the game that we don't know yet but um i think it's gonna be big you know everyone is is really really hype on their creative characters using them um getting other builds getting other moves um we're gonna have a lot more ice attacks a lot more fire attacks like kid boo death ball like are you joking me let me know who you guys are most excited for and make sure you like share subscribe if you enjoyed the content profanation i love y'all i'm out